Hello, it's Ida here. Um, today, we'd like to bring you to another dimension. And you can see that it is very earth environment. So, it is the environment that, as a light worker, or if you incarnate in you, that you may not be familiar with. And also, you, will, you can feel there's a lot of different kinds of uh, energies that is not in the same vibration frequency as who you are. But even though, as a light worker on the earth, and that is a purpose that we come to the earth to serve. Because the energy frequency on the earth is different. And they have a lot of vibration frequency. So that is the reason that we sign our soul contract to come to the earth to serve. So now this month, energy card reading, I would like to give you more guidance in order to how can we serve better on this planet. And remember, there's full of miracles and love on this planet. Okay, let's see the cards here. So as usual, for every month, that I will draw three cards here. And we can just relax ourselves. And let's see which one got you to get the card, okay? Remember, we can just relax our body. And here we go. Now, let's see the three cards here. The first card here is dreams. <laughs> um, wow. So the cards of dreams here is, okay, it's time to wake up. Maybe you've been Maybe you have been trying to hide in yourself. You've been trying to hide yourself behind the scene, or you're trying to hide yourself, hide your talent, hide your ability, not to tell people that that is something that you want to do. But here, it's the angels trying to tell you that, well, you've been sleeping for quite long now, okay? It's time to wake up and make your dream and turn the dream to become a reality. I think here's the thing here, is the most important here. It's time for you to wake up from the dream state and just really turn any kind of your dream from your imagination or your own initiative power. It's a time for you to turn it out and become the reality, all right? So no matter how's your dream, no matter it's a big dream or it's a ridiculous one, so he is the one telling you that as long as your dream is full of love, as long as your dream is full of love, and that is the time for you to really turn it up, right? Make it into the reality here. So here's a card here is telling us that, well, you have a good dream. Ah, uh -huh. good morning. <laughs> okay, now here's the second card here, and it's referring to the middle of the month. That is the freedom one. The freedom card here is trying to tell you that, well, it's time for you to move your body, limbs, and you know, and your head and your mouth, all right, to really um walking on this planet. You have all the freedom to walk around on this planet Earth. If you don't want this country, you can go to another country to surf. If you don't want to, you know, do this, you can do something else. And remember, your way of thinking is always have all the freedom to think anything right and um, here is and just trying to remind you that your dreams don't underestimate that well anything you think here you can make it into a reality here so actually if there's something the dream in your mind here now you have the freedom to make it into the reality how is that? Wow, amazing, I would say. Um, you have all the freedom and you get all the support from the angels here. So here's the card, this reminds you that, yes, go ahead. Whatever the dream it is, I have no idea what your dream it is. But I just try to encourage you and angels remind us that in the middle of the month, it's a time for you to make it out, okay? And now he's come to, well, the end of the month. So here's the time that is forgiveness come turning up here. So when we're trying to turn up our dream and we're trying to explain our dream to the other human beings, sometimes they may not understand. 
sometimes they may think, well, no, you know, they put you off by a lot of uh, so-called uh, cognitive reasons or by the reality um, experience or history. It doesn't matter. Forgive them. <laughs> forgive them. And also forgive yourself. Don't say that, oh, yeah, maybe I dream so much. No, 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 no. Well, forgive myself. I don't have to blame myself. And you don't have to blame yourself because that is the dream. Think about that. A lot of people dream about, you know, the earth peace. And do you need to really blame yourself? No, of course not. All right. So it, no matter how big is a dream or even, you know, so-called tiny thing or just personal matter, no matter it is, uh, it's a dream. So you have the freedom to make it up, um, to, to make it uh, into reality here. And then try to put it into reality phase to let the people surrounding you to understand you. Forgive the people if they try to stop you, hold you, or try to um, disturb you or even the destroy your dreams. Uh, forgive them because you have the strong power. You have the power and the wisdom more than what you know or what you expect. So the most important is forgive them and you can really focus to your dream here. So work it out, all right? Work it out and really forgive a lot of people, all right? Um, here's the idea that I really love to listen to your dreams. If you find any difficulties or find any concern about the dreams and you don't know how to really uh, work it out step by step, I'm here always give you support. I would like to ask your own angels to help you support the dreams, to help you to have the wisdom and power to make it become true in step by step. Okay? You can email me, my email address is info.healingcenter at gmail.com. I'm looking forward to hear your, about your dream, and I'd love to really give you a lot of coaching and give you more in your card reading. So I'm happy to be here, and see you next month.